to change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barriers, 'cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's rap so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep. Our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world. Rap so deep. Our reality. Has come to change our lives forever. Coming up on Rhapsody of Realities. God's given us a life to live that is incorruptible. A life that's right. Well, incorruptible means it, it never fails. It always prevails.、Mm. Hallelujah! That's our life. That's、yes. the Christian life. That's right. Every day in different nations of the world, the messenger angel is changing lives one person at a time. This month of May, it's a unique one on your favorite daily devotional program, the Kingdom of Tonga. Mai lele, and welcome to the beautiful Kingdom of Tonga. And the America Samoa. Talofa from the beautiful island of America Samoa. Both in the South Pacific, share in the rich heritage of God's Word contained in Rhapsody of Realities. The life that is always overcoming. That is always conquering. That's the life that we're talking about. If you can't get it with your money, faith can get it for you. Join us in this exciting journey on the world throughout the month of May. The word is reality. That's your life. Feed on the word. Feed on the word. Because you will grow thereby. It's our year with the word of God. Enjoy it. Malo Elele, and welcome again to the beautiful kingdom of Tonga. We are sitting in front of the lagoon this morning, which is located、mm. right in the center of the main island Tonga Tapu. So great to have everyone with us again today.、Amen. The Rhapsody of Realities has been such a great、mm. blessing to the kingdom of Tonga.、Yeah. We're so excited about the work that it has, and what、mm. will continue to come because of what the Rhapsody, the, the revelation of the Rhapsody.、Yeah. Amen. And so incredible that we have this. Angel messenger、mm. in our language, Tongan language. Amen. And the one thing that I've seen it do, Pastor Siona, is that Tonga is a is a nation that that everyone likes to go to church. Yeah. Almost everybody, at least on a Sunday, you'll find most of the streets barren because everyone is in in church somewhere.、Mm. And the thing that I found with the Rhapsodies bringing them to Tonga has been something that has gone across. The lines of the churches, because churches、yeah. are so、um, ingrained in, in people's culture, in the way that they live, in、mm. their families, not just the culture in their families. And the truth is that Jesus is the only way, the、That's、truth,、right. and the life.、Amen. And the rhapsody of realities brings、yeah. this message of our Lord Jesus Christ to the people who we might not be able to reach otherwise.、Mm. So we've been giving it at marketplaces, in places where. People don't expect to hear、mm. or see the message、oh, yeah. of Jesus Christ, but we've been able to to go across those boundaries that have stopped us before,、mm. and been able to share about the love of our great Lord Jesus Christ.、Amen. Hallelujah! 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 Wow! And it is true; these these devotionals are incredible for the people of Tonga.、Mm. You know, they're they're realizing that the Word is more than simply a holy book that they read maybe once a week at church. It's something that can have real change in their lives, and we're so grateful、Amen. to Pastor Chris and again Pastor Anita Oyakolome for supplying us with what is needed to impact the people of Tonga. Amen. And so this、hallelujah. morning we're going to be reading another devotional, which we're so excited to get into. Yes, hallelujah. This morning is Thursday, May the tenth. We're reading a devotion by Pastor Chris, and it's titled "Life in the Word." Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We have life in the Word.、That's、our source、right. is the、right. Word. That's right. Our being, our beginning, our origin, everything we are, flows from that life which we have found in the、Amen. Word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! 
So right now we're going to go on a short break, and when we come back, we're going to discuss life in the Word. Hallelujah. We're so excited to do this one. Amen. We'll see you soon. From two beautiful islands in the South Pacific, the Kingdom of Tonga, and the America Samoa. Join us in the month of May as we experience the transformation that comes only by God's Word. It's fresh and unique. You can't afford to miss a single episode. Only on your favorite daily devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. Looking at the menu of life, we are faced with so many choices. Making the right choice makes all the difference. Rhapsody of Realities, the true meal of God's Word for a life of peace, joy, and unending success. Please call any of these numbers now displayed on your screen to place your orders or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome again to our devotion today, which is titled Life in the Word, and it's written to us mm. by Pastor Chris. Oh, yeah. The scripture is brought from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. Oh, how exciting. Wow. Being born mm. again, not hallelujah. of corruptible seed, hallelujah, wow. but of incorruptible mm. by the Word of God, which liveth and abideth and forever. forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Born again, mm. not of corruptible seed, not of something that will fade away, not of something mm. that can be destroyed or something can get inside and ruin it, but it's incorruptible. There's no way anything can, can stop or hinder this word. Mm. Hallelujah. Wow. And the last part of the verse, it lives and abides forever. Liveth and abideth forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the word of God can never die. That's right. You know, no wonder... Jesus said in John chapter 3 to Nicodemus that in order for you to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must be born again. The first birth, we're born of corruptible seed. It's something that passes. It's something that fades. Mm. Everything mm. that people do naturally will pass on. It will fade away because it doesn't last for eternity. But being born again, we're Amen. being born into eternity. We're being born into something that which, will, which will never perish. It will never fade away. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And that, that seed abides in our spirits Amen. forever. Hallelujah. So we're going to read the first paragraph. Pastor Chris writes, Christianity is an exciting life. That's Hallelujah. Right. It's a life of victory through the Word. Religious Christianity, it teaches you that you have to struggle to please mm. God and to walk with Him. But in true Christianity, you don't need to struggle to please God because the Holy Spirit helps you live the faith life that pleases Him. All you have to do is pay attention to Him through the Word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So there's so many Christians that are struggling to live a religious life. You know, the people that don't understand that everything has already been laid out for them. Mm. Their life is in it's the true. Word. They just have to read and accept it to take it as fact. But they struggle because they haven't learned to make what they read their lives. They haven't learned to accept it at face value. They look at the Word true. and they, they look analyze. at their experience mm. and they say, this can't be true. Yeah. It, can't, it doesn't match up. And so they allow their experience to color their interpretation of the Word and therefore... Which is wrong, yeah. Exactly, it's wrong because they live below what God created them to live, what God yeah, empowered them to live. It's so true. I mean, they allow the corruptible seed to influence the incorruptible seed. How silly is that? How <laughs> limiting to Very the life, true. to the Christian Very life, true. Is, would that be? You know, God's given us a life to live that is incorruptible. A life, That's right. Incorruptible means it, it never fails. It always prevails. Mm. 
Hallelujah, that's our life. That's yes. the Christian life. That's right. That's right. Only when you allow the Word of God to abide richly in your life. Yeah. And you know, that's a challenge for us because that means we have to make sure the Word's abiding in our lives. Yeah. And making sure that we're getting into the Word and studying it and meditating on it. It is who Hallelujah. we are, so we need to do it. That's right. And Pastor Chris continues, Those who live according to the Word of God don't need to keep worrying whether or not they're pleasing God. Isn't yeah. that great? Yeah. Hallelujah. Awesome. We don't need to worry. You don't mm. need to worry Amen. whether or not you're pleasing God. That's right. Hallelujah. It takes faith to please Him. Hebrews 11, 6 says, But without faith, yeah. it is impossible to please Him. Mm. And faith is having the Word dwell in you richly yeah. and living, living by, by it. it. Hallelujah. So the Word of God that you study, that what you were just talking about, study and meditating on it, yeah. it lives and abides within us. And then we act on it. Hallelujah. And as yeah. we act on it, it becomes hallelujah. Life. Amen. Amen. It is our life. And the life of Christ is wow. manifested through us. God's word in you will regulate your thoughts and, and actions, actions. Wow. and guide you. Hallelujah. Regulate your thoughts and actions. So it puts you into line. Yeah. And then it will guide you in the paths of righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Which are paths that are set out for you to live. And there are paths that we'll, we will be guided in as we walk in God's Word. The seed that abides within us, wow. the incorruptible Hallelujah. seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Awesome. How exciting is the life that we live? Pastor Chris writes, God's Word in you will regulate your thoughts and actions. Regulate means it will bring back to normal, bring back to the norm. So when <laughs> you're... That's good. You know, when something yeah. comes against you, a bad thought, a thought that is below your Christian life, yeah. When you read God's Word, it regulates Hallelujah. you again that this is who you are. And therefore, I mean, that's why He says it guides you on the paths of righteousness because you can't go wrong when you're being regulated. <laughs> if we allow ourselves to be regulated by the Word, Amen. then we automatically walk in the paths that God ordained for us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Isn't that an amazing life? Amen. What an awesome thought. I love how Pastor Chris and I need to put these words in here mm. that make us think. And they, and they bring out such greater meaning of yeah. what the Word is telling us. Uh, yeah. Regulate, to bring back to the original. That's exactly who God made mm. us to be. Born of His mm. Word. Hallelujah, how exciting. That's the life we live as Christians. Wow. So Amen. we're going to just take a short break mm. and we're going to be back in a couple minutes and, and finish talking about our life in the Word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From two beautiful islands in the South Pacific, the Kingdom of Tonga, and the America Samoa. Join us in the month of May as we experience the transformation that comes only by God's Word. It's fresh and unique. You can't afford to miss a single episode. Only on your favorite daily devotional program, Rhapsody of Realities. It's not just information. It's an experience. It's not just light. It enlightens. It doesn't just heal. It is life. That's why we all love and desire the Rhapsody of Realities. Get your copy of the May edition of Rhapsody of Realities Daily Devotional today. Call now to place your order or log on to our website, www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. <laughs> 